Hi guys, Mulos here. Today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of how to use PayPal in most African countries for receiving. Uh, when you use PayPal in Africa, most of the times you can make payments, but you can't receive. So this video, I'll show you how it's done. There's this interesting blog. I'm going to leave a link in the description. It answers most or a good number of the questions on using PayPal in Africa. Uh, it's got uh, a part talking about South Africa, the do's and don'ts. It also has one for talking about Nigeria, using PayPal in Nigeria, using PayPal in Mauritius, using PayPal in Kenya, using PayPal in Ghana, Botswana, and it also lists the countries where you can receive PayPal without problems and uh, a few TCs for Algeria and Egypt. For in these countries, the ones I'd recommend you use are Lesotho and Morocco. There's this interesting comment. It says PayPal users in the following African countries can now receive money. Malawi, Algeria, Mozambique, Lesotho, Morocco, Botswana, and Seychelles. What's even better for them, unlike those from South Africa and Kenya, is that they can withdraw directly to a debit card, which is a faster way of withdrawing. In Kenya, for instance, you have to withdraw to a U.S. bank account, which uh, very few people have. And if you have it, it takes about three to four days to withdraw it. Um, I now so much envy guys from all these countries that can withdraw using a credit card. So the cards I recommend you use are the UBA prepaid card called an AfriCard or the EcoBank prepaid card called, I think it's a Cash Express card. All right, so of these countries you can receive, the ones I recommend are Lesotho and Morocco. These two will not give you any problems most of the times if you link it to a UBA prepaid card or Ecobank prepaid card or even your own cards. So remember, Lesotho and Morocco are the most recommended. All right, so PayPal is available in 200 plus countries and territories, but of these, uh, a good number cannot receive PayPal payments. They can make PayPal payments, but they can't receive. So always bear that in mind that most African countries, you cannot receive PayPal payments. I live in Zambia, and uh, if you open a PayPal account in Zambia, there's a 99.99% probability that you cannot receive PayPal payments. So if you live in Zambia, open your account under Lesotho or Morocco. That is what I recommend and link them to a UBA prepaid card. I have not test, tested out the Malawi, but it's supposed to work just as well. But I haven't tested it out, so I will be lying if I say do it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts when opening uh, a PayPal account and why I prefer to open a business account instead of a personal account. For a personal account, it's got more features. You can pay bills, get paid, send payments, receive payments. And you can also use the app. But uh, there's one reason I don't recommend using it, and I'll show you why. For business account, you have the benefits of a personal account with a few restrictions. You can't do everything that a personal account can do, but you can do practically most of them. When you're opening either under a Lesotho or Morocco, I'm going to leave the paper Lesotho and PayPal Morocco links down below. If you're opening with either of them and you select personal account and click on the continue just make sure that it's Morocco or Lesotho that you have selected once you click on continue it's going to show you the country you are registering under so make sure that Morocco or Lesotho shows when you're putting in your first and last name make sure you put in your real names do not put fake names because it will just land you in problems then use an email address that you can that is active if you use a fake email address, you won't be able to continue the process. Okay, so once you've done all of that, uh, click on the next. Uh, do the security challenge if it's there. Then it brings you back here where you now have to put your date of birth, your name. Make sure you put your real name. And when you, uh, why I don't use personal PayPal is because you can't put your real phone number unless you've got a SIM card for Morocco or Lesotho. Uh, on nationality, put your real nationality. On your ID, put your real ID details, because if you have a problem with PayPal, they will ask for proof that you are a real person. 
and if you've put fake details your money could get stuck on address you can put your real lusaka address because even on city you can put lusaka on the postal code you can put the lusaka postal code so put your real address because this will match what's on your card is this really your real phone number is this really your real phone number is this really your real phone number so that's why i don't prefer using the personal because i can't put my real phone number now when it's a business uh, paypal account if you register a business paypal account and you click continue it's going to ask for your email address again put a real email address with PayPal, just make sure that you're, you're honest uh, on your details because uh, if your money gets held up and you've put fake details, that money is gone for good. It's not worth it lying to PayPal. All right, so put in a password, then click continue. Then here you're going to put in your business uh, contacts, which is yourself, so put your real name. I'm putting Mr. Mulos because I'm not opening this account, but my name isn't Mr. Mulos, by the way. Once you've done that, then uh, your business details, you can put your company name, your organization name, or your fantasy name. You can put any name there. Then here, uh, why I love a business account is because you can put your real phone number. You can select uh, your country, in my case Zambia, and I'm going to put my real Zambian phone number so that in case I've got any problem with PayPal, they can always contact me and uh, I'll have no problems uh, verifying who I am and uh, calling at uh, PayPal customer care. Then again on the business address, put your real business address, your home num your home address, postal address, your city as well and all of that is this really your real phone number is this really your real phone number now on currency paypal rates are terrible so uh, use the currency that you deal in the most for most of us it's us dollar if you put another currency paypal will be paying you at slightly below the real market rates so you lose out if you're putting other currencies so now let me go into my live account and show you a snapshot of it. So I'm going to log in. This is my PayPal Morocco account. I'm going to log in and uh, here <coughs> you'll see that I invoiced on the 23rd of April. I got paid on the 24th of April. This is the 28th of April and my funds are still on hold. So just bear that in mind that sometimes PayPal puts funds on hold and it takes minimum of uh, a few hours maximum of 21 days for your funds to be released so just bear that in mind sometimes and if you put fake details likelihood of your funds being on hold are more i've clicked on the withdraw and it's going to put bring me here because i've got uh, no money cleared right now i can't withdraw zero but uh, if i wanted to withdraw i could withdraw to my echo bank prepaid card all right so i recommend uba prepaid card or echo bank prepaid card to use anyway thanks for watching this video guys uh, let me know in the comments what you think if there's anything that i missed and uh based on your comments i'll make a follow-up video and add on to what i missed in this video thanks for watching bye